This is Moses from Zatar Gardens. I'm having a local news station come to my house, my garden and the area because of every five days I go around the whole neighborhood cleaning out the storm drains, the street gutters, fixing broken sprinklers, spreading the mosquito bait, trying to rid this area of mosquitoes because we have the Zika virus mosquito. It doesn't carry the virus, but we have it from Brazil. But um, one of the local news stations coming right now and more will come on a later date, I believe. I mentioned I'm a disabled combat veteran and I didn't realize today is 9-11, so they're probably gonna come for those reasons as well. Probably just tie it into a disabled vet still helping his community. All right, everyone, I'll keep you updated. Do you want a candid while I work? We could get a selfie together. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, that was really cool. It was about an hour and a half with the reporter. Um, we went around the streets. I showed him how I cleaned the street gutters and showed him the larvae. I showed him the, you know, the citronella plant and my lemongrass that I have that I rub on my body, the leaves. So I don't have to put mosquito spray on me that much to repel the mosquitoes. Uh, then he walked the garden. He talked to me about my service. He even asked about the YouTube channel. So I signed something for the YouTube channel. And they said they're going to try their best to put that, include that in the video. That would be really cool. But yeah, it went really well. Uh, like I said, an hour and a half of straight questions. He, so, and uh, unfortunately I wanted to do it for the video for my YouTube channel. I showed him the asparagus that's still growing like crazy, like many of you know that I've been watching. But I also have my purple passion that I have. I've never tasted from my own garden. We pulled out a big one the size of eh, probably my index finger. And I shared it with them. Um, shooting the breeze, basically. And I said, supposedly this tastes 25 times sweeter than the UC-157 F1 variety. And it did. And there was no asparagus aftertaste. Some people like this taste of after, um, the aftertaste of uh, asparagus. Some people don't. But the Purple Passion was just sweet. It was just a sweet, no fiber, fiberless asparagus. It was delicious. And there's, there's nine crowns of it over there. Purple Passion. Well, I really want to do that for the video, but it's okay. Anyways, happy gardening. And always help your community. Bye.